Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to use user-defined URL categories to control accessible websites. We all know that Huawei firewalls are delivered with a predefined URL category database that contains certain predefined URLs. However, the latest and most comprehensive predefined URL category database is in Huawei's security center at sec.huawei.com. Firewalls can use a URL remote query function to expand and optimize the local predefined URL category database. One thing you need to know is that even the most comprehensive predefined URL category database cannot contain all URLs. In this case, you can define URL categories to satisfy your needs. User-defined URL categories are supplementary to predefined ones. They enable you to configure the URL filtering function more flexibly. If a certain URL does not belong to any predefined URL category, you can create a user-defined URL category and then add this URL to it. You can also add a URL that belongs to a certain predefined URL category to a user-defined URL category. After that, the URL will match the user-defined category instead of the predefined one, considering that the user-defined category has a higher priority than the predefined one in terms of the matching sequence. Next, let's use a specific example to describe how to use user-defined URL categories to control accessible websites. Certain enterprise employees usually access work unrelated websites, www.example1.com and www.example2.com during work hours which compromises work efficiency and brings intangible asset losses to the enterprise. The enterprise intends to allow employees to access only work-related websites. According to the query on the firewall, www.example1.com does not belong to any predefined URL category, and www.example2.com belongs to predefined URL category blogs community. You can create a user-defined URL category and add www.example1.com and www.example2.com to this category. Then set the response action for this category to block to satisfy enterprise needs. Next, let's see this specific configuration method. First, create a user-defined URL category. Choose Object. URL category and click add. Set the category name to forbidden website and enter description information. Then add www.example1.com and www.example2.com. Then you can see the created category forbidden website in the list. After that, create a URL filtering profile. Choose object, security profiles, URL filtering, and click Add. Set the name to URL Profile 01. For this area, you can use the default configurations or configure the items as required. In the URL filtering level area, you can see Forbidden Website under User Defined Category. Set the response action to Block. Then you can see the created profile URL profile 01 in the list. However, you have not finished the configuration yet. Instead, you have to apply the profile in the security policy for the URL filtering function to take effect. Choose Policy, Security Policy, Security Policy. Click Add, Add Security Policy. Set the name to Policy 1. Specify filtering conditions. For example, set the source security zone to trust, destination security zone to untrust, source address to 192.168.0.0, and mask to 24 bit. You must set the action to permit, otherwise, you cannot perform URL filtering. Select URL profile 01 in the drop down list of URL filtering, and click OK. Till now, 
You have completed the configuration and application of the URL filtering function. At last, click commit on the upper right corner to activate the configuration. After the preceding configurations are complete, the employees can no longer access www.example1.com or www.example2.com. If employees access these two websites, you can choose monitor, log, URL log, and view corresponding logs, which show that the filtering type is user defined. If a large number of URL logs exist, you can use advanced search to filter them. Click advanced search on the upper right corner, set the filtering type to user defined, and click search. We've completed the course. Thank you for staying with us.